What's up everyone? Hey, it's raining today, so no work. But we are gonna change the hydraulic fluid on the mower. So I'll go over that with you. Most of you know how to do it, but I do it a little differently, kind of, I think. Um, one thing I wanna talk about, tomorrow we're gonna be out aerating. I am gonna talk about how much I, how I do my pricing for aeration the best I can. And because everyone's area is different. And then I'm going to talk about the aerator a little bit and some things you need to know about it. Because I've been getting some comments on that and I apologize. Sometimes when you're busy working, trying to get things done, you kind of forget that. But we will go over that. So Justin's here. We're going to head out and uh, I got to go sign the papers for the trailer, get pick up the number for my tag, and we're ready to go. Hey everyone, I just got back from finally signing my paperwork at Riverside Trailers. And look, he even gave us hats. He gave Justin a hat too. So we both have hats. Super nice guy. If you are in the Ohio area, let me tell you. Riverside Trailer Sells in Powell, Ohio. RTSBuckeye.com. And yes, I'll put it, you know me, wherever. But we're going to get this hydro oil changed. It's still raining. But man, I wanted to show you the hat and say Doug Butts at Riverside. That guy is fantastic. I appreciate him. And what a deal I got. And you can get the same deal. He really is a dealer guy. I mean, he takes care of you. So let's go get this done. All right, guys. So what we're going to do... Jack this thing up and we'll put some jack stands under it first. And then I'll go through how I change the hydraulic fluid. I know it's a scabber, but it's the way it is. Justin can come up under here. I think that's a 10 millimeter bolt. I'll check that here in a second. We're gonna take these covers off. Put some liquid wrench on these because I did snap one off last year. And I just let that set for a minute. And I got a 10 millimeter socket here. Next thing you got to take off is this little side piece here. I don't think that's a 10 millimeter. I think that's uh, something else. I'll have to check that out. That cover comes off, and here is your where you fill it at. Here. The next thing we're going to do is take off the filters. Put that down, we'll get these filters off real quick. Hoping this thing will, oh yeah. Now, yep, that should work. Oh yeah. It's a tight spot um, in here really. Coming off though. And I always start the mower to let it warm up so everything can get warm before I drain. There it goes. Oh, it's pouring out. And I use the Hydro Gear commercial. This is part number 52114. I will put that on the screen. 
This is for the Skag Cheetah 52 inch. So you'll know which one that is. So what I like to do is I always like to put some oil around this and look, I'm using 10W30. It doesn't have to be 20W50 to just put around this. You can use whatever you have, but definitely put 2050 weight in your machine. You definitely want 2050 weight. Okay, there are these two little Allen bolts that you have to take out. I'm trying to show them to you, but it's dark. You've got to take them out of the top of your pump. And they're way up in there. You can see the little holes right on the other side of the belt. And put it down on the ground. Fill it up first. I obviously put the covers back on the filters underneath there, as you can see. We're going to set it down on the ground, get it filled up, then we're going to raise it up and purge it. So we are in the process of putting the hydraulic fluid in, and of course it's 2050 weight, it's not actual hydraulic fluid, but it is a slow process, so don't freak out if you think, oh my gosh, this stuff's not going down. But what you have to do is Justin's down there doing, when you... When you see the oil start to come out of that little drain hole, you put that plug in immediately, tighten it up, and that means the, the rest is going to go to your right pump. So basically what we're doing now, we've got the left pump full. Justin has to stay down there. We've got four and a quarter quarts in it. Once it goes down enough, the other one... He's got to put the other mm -hmm. Allen nut in there once it starts to drain out. Then we will jack the mower up and purge this thing. And you want to put it, you want to make sure that your, uh, your little locks there, those little knobs are in the neutral spot. It's hard to show you here, maybe over here, yeah, the little black knob in the back uh, you really can't see it there it is right there right on the other side of that hose make sure those are in neutral we'll jack it up and then we'll show you us purging it okay everyone we are just waiting for this thing to drain down in there it is a long process but I wanted to uh Say hi to my buddy Josh. Love this hat, dude. Awesome hat. And I'm not a hat guy. But also, I wanted to uh, read something to you that I got in the mail today. Hey, Shane. What's up, bud? Hope all is good with Sarah and you. Awesome videos also. Thank you. We have to figure out a time to meet up sometime. Here is a magnet to add to your toolbox. Was going to give it to you back when we had planned to meet up. Hope the season goes good for you. John from Curb Appeal Lawn Care. John, thank you so much. John is a friend of mine. Um, he has his own channel over at Curb Appeal Lawn Care. And I want to show you, this is the magnet that he gave me. This is really nice. Hope you could see that. Um, John's in Indiana. So we're going to put that magnet. Uh, uh, you know, i got to find a good spot here. Let me put that, hmm, let's see, I'm trying to think here, John, I don't know, John, give me a break, John, okay, we're going to put that magnet right under Stet, from Stet's Lawn Care, so, right under Stet, from Stet's Lawn Care, so, we got Garns, Caddo Lawn Care, of course, my ninja, Nick from Saving Green, and this thing is on crooked, as heck, that's good enough, Obviously, Stet, tub of towels, and what I use today is channel lock, and, oh, yeah, SK. Of course, Terrell and the lawn tools. The lawn tools just did a video for me, and I've got to try to save it and use it in one of my YouTube videos. This, 
These guys are hilarious. You have to check them out. So let's get back on this thing. What I wanted to say, what I do is I always jack it up, take the caps off first, get my filters off, drain the oil. I'm not really great at these how-tos, but I'm trying, so this is something new for me. Let the purge begin. another aeration from those flyers that you know we talk about that are old school yeah got another job from that there's another $75 anyway tomorrow I'm going to talk about the Ryan aerator I'm going to talk about how I bid uh, aeration jobs now we're done hope if you have any questions please let me know on this if you have different pumps and you do it a different way let me know too because it's not all the same if you enjoy the video, if you enjoy all the videos, hit subscribe. There's a bell. You can hit that. You'll know when I upload a new video. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.